It's time for Sunday Brunch and joining us this morning is Kyle Algaze, owner of the Iron Rooster with a Mother's Day tradition. You always come on Mother's Day. I am. Thank this you. is the tradition's back. I and feel it's good. it's the busiest yeah. day of the year too. You guys are packed. It is. Yeah, this is going to be a busy day for us. We're excited to see all the moms. Happy Mother's Day to everybody. Happy Mother's Day to my mother, my wife. I want to just say that. Aww. I got that out of the way. Good job. Good yeah, job, Kyle. You. You're, <laughs> you're not marks. in trouble now. I hit my marks. You but got You came with, prepared. I mean, yeah. shrimp and grits. We've got water. Awful churros. Jen told me this, and I literally said, Jim, I'm out this morning. I sang it to you as a matter of fact. She did. She sang it to me. <laughs> yeah, this so. The waffle churros is the really cool thing. I, I'm yeah. really happy with the waffle churros. It's one of those things you don't see on a lot of menus. You definitely see churros, but why not deep fry a waffle and toss it in cinnamon sugar? So I've got a couple of deep fried already. If you want to start tossing Go those in there. Go for it. I'll there. present your plate for you. Well, thank you, Jen. I'll be your sous chef. And I'll at the same that. time, okay. I'm going to be doing yeah. some shrimp and grits. Lovely. So I've got the grits already down. See, I already got a You've got working. butter and garlic going on with the shrimp over there. So we do a chipotle butter. Mm -hmm. We do garlic. What makes it chipotle? Uh, we add chipotle peppers into the butter. Well then, okay. Yeah, so it kind of gives it that sort of a little mm -hmm. bit of a smoky heat, Look at that. heat flavor to it. Which is, which is really good. Does she do good? Awesome. The better, the more of the sugar, the, the better. More cinnamon yeah, yeah, sugar. Yeah, yeah. You want to put them in there? Oh, okay. That was like keep a moving. presentation. Yeah, right. we've got like a little assembly line. Um, and so... You know, with the shrimp and grits, it's it's kind of one of those dishes that, you, you know, you definitely see in Southern cuisine. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a, always a popular dish for us, especially on Sunday brunch. It's a number um, one. It's good for, um, you know, if you're looking to have something kind of smoky and, and, and spicy, you're kind of getting all those uh, flavors in. To so. me, it's that sauce when you mix it all in with the grits. It That's just... It. It marries all those flavors together. Yeah, it's such a neat, you know, dish where you're putting a whole bunch of different flavors together, and that's kind of, you know, what shrimp and grits is. You're getting a little bit of the salt, a little bit of the smokiness, a little bit of the heat. Um, so I just put in some cherry tomatoes, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to put in a tomato blend. That's Almost got like some, a salsa mix. Yeah, it's like a pico de gallo, mm -hmm. just about. So that'll continue to cook and render down. Um, I've got grits with. A little These bit of heavy like cream. Perfectly I mean, yeah. made grits. Yeah, if you like your grits fluffy and creamy. This is it. If you're yeah. counting your calories, you're not counting. This those. isn't the dish for your calorie <laughs> counting for for today. So that's um. So those will start working, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna let the shrimp cook down a little right. bit. While let we it got do its thing. Minutes. Yep. Back to the churros, which you did a phenomenal job with. Fantastic. Oh, thank you. By the way, you're gonna do a, a caramel sauce with it too. Yeah. So we do. Is it you say caramel mm -hmm. or caramel? Oh, God. I always say it wrong and I get yelled at for it. I, th I think I do caramel. caramel. What do you say? It depends on I what I'm caramel. talking about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you can say either one you want, but it's All the right. it's a really good addition to the waffle churro. So it's almost it's like having too. like a little bit of a fried donut. It's kind of that. I mean, that's meat. just kind of perfect. I love yeah. a churro, which is great. And then you know you've got a new June menu coming out. Yeah. yeah. So right. June first, we'll start rolling out our spring summer menu. Uh, we've got some neat items on there. I didn't bring them today because the staff always gets upset with me yes. when I make dishes here that we're not ready for in the restaurant. Because then people will come in and say, I and want what I saw on TV. They do. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so you're waiting. So what do yes. you have? So we're going to do a couple new omelets. We'll have a crab omelet. We'll have a really neat veggie Ooh. omelet coming on board. And then brisket. We're doing a Ooh, lot of stuff with brisket. Yeah. So there's going to be a smoked brisket sandwich with a chipotle aioli and fried onion strings and provolone cheese. That it's going to be it's going to be fantastic. Is it fun to come up with new recipe ideas? Uh, it is fun. You know, everybody likes change, yeah. right? And so you kind of do the same things in the restaurant business all day long, every single day. And so when you start bringing out some new stuff, it's always cool for people to be like, oh, wow, you know, something new, something fun. To, to, to play with so but you have to have your staples still on your menu and this is definitely your shrimp and grits is definitely one of has them. never gone away this has been in, from day one minute one this is one of those dishes that Kyle, we keep. tried these. the roost tarts we came these for our tarts. floor director's birthday and you brought yes. these out and they were amazing it was my first time having them and I was completely sold they're I the best them. right they're really the best and you know I'm thinking we'll do something maybe with Old Bay coming up we'll have to kind of reach out to that oh Delencia so will love that How to marry that together. Together. We've been playing like with it. I don't have anything yet, so no one show up. Have and you tried like anything. a chocolate old babe mixture yet? I'm working on with bacon or chocolate, something sweet, something spicy, something salty. I've got a couple of different ideas, so I'm trying to figure out what to do. But give we'll us a couple of weeks and then, is that and then wine? we're ready to go. So yes, yeah, so a little bit of white wine, mm -hmm. and then the, the key mm -hmm. with the white wine is a lot of people put wine in the dish and then they'll just immediately take it off the burner. You want to let it reduce. You want to kind of let that alcohol flavor to, to burn out a little bit. And so you got another probably two minutes, and then we should be ready. And is it a compound right. butter that you're using? That looks like it. It is. So that's a chipotle butter. So mm -hmm. that's what we oh, do. We take the chipotle, chipotle butter, peppers okay. and we put it right into the butter. And yeah. so that's been pretty neat. A lot of people 
people don't know that you also do morning happy hour to deal with the folks that are on that third shift. Right. So, you know, when we first opened, we're in that early morning hours and, you know, we get a lot of people that work overnights, especially in the hospitals, the people, the healthcare heroes that have been working for so long and they were looking for a place to come in. It's their mm -hmm. nighttime. We said, we got you. So every uh, Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m., we do drink specials. We do half price roof tarts. We just do a lot of cool things because they need a place to go to. Absolutely. And, it's know, there 5 o'clock, basically. It's there. And right? they're, you know, they're looking for it. And, you know, especially when you work overnight in a hospital, mm -hmm. you may need something at a the end of your shift. A little stressed out yeah, yeah, at the yeah. end of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah So sure. that's really the, the, the idea behind that. And it's been fantastic. And we, we just can't thank them enough for coming in. It's always been great. Yeah. News great. folks know a little bit about working overnight, you working late. So, <laughs> yeah. Do. You're not kidding. And we want to talk about, you have several locations. You're in Canton. Canton, Annapolis, Hunt Valley, and uh, McHenry Rail. And so when you roll out that new menu, you're trying to teach all your chefs across the board so that you, you, what you get in Annapolis, you're going to get in Hunt Valley. You know, sure consistency you in, in the restaurant business is always the key, right? So can you produce a, an item in every single location the same way? So if you went into one location and you go, oh, yeah, I had that in the mm -hmm. other place, and, and it should taste the same. So that's really the idea. Consistency oh, I, is I need key. to give a shout-out to Allie from... Uh, she from give the, you the Yeah, yeah she gave me this great. apron before it came out, and I was like, Allie, thank you so much. <laughs> So thank you, I love it. If you can't get in like on a day like today, for sure, you can do to-go orders. Too. Yes, you can do takeout today. I got you guys thank some you. Mother's Day You're stuff. So, so sweet. Just to thank, thank you. you. Oh, really appreciate you guys having us on, on board. So this thank you so awesome. much.